Hey guys, so today I am going to be filming a little Essence haul. Um, if you don't know, Essence is a European brand that is has like drugstore prices um, and they sell it at Ulta here in the United States. Um, I actually haven't used this brand in forever. It was one of the first brands I used when I was allowed to start wearing makeup. Um, I remember buying like these really cheap like mascaras and blushes and everything when I was like 14 or 15 and I remember them being really good. Um, I was on the Ulta website the other day and I stumbled across them and then I saw some um, Kathleen Lights videos where she was talking about their blushes and highlighters. Um, so I decided to go on their website and purchase a few things. Um, it's not like a bunch of stuff but I do have quite a bit of products. They're mostly face products. Um, so I did already do my eyes, eyebrows, and foundation, but I haven't set any of it. Um, I have a few blushes, a bronzer, some highlighters, some lip liners, and a concealer. So um, we are going to be testing those out and just kind of see if they're worth the hype. Um, I know especially their pure nude highlighter that I'm going to be showing you guys um, is like a cult favorite among some people for like a drugstore highlighter. Um, so we're just going to be testing that out today, um, and if you're interested in that, just keep watching. So first we have this mattifying powder, and I do want to use this first just because I haven't set my face with anything. This is just the Maybelline Fit Me foundation that I've been using, and this is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. Um, they didn't have like a loose translucent powder on their website, um, so I just got this and thought that it should do the job. It says extremely smooth fixing compact powder for a matte and natural finish all day long. Helps to blend blush and foundation colors together. Fixes makeup when applied as finishing powder for all skin tones. Um, so let's see. I do like this packaging. I think it's really cute. Like this clear plastic. Um, I don't know. It doesn't. It's not like the most expensive looking uh, packaging out there. But all of their blushes, the bronzer, and the eyeshadows all are in this packaging and I think it's really cute. I think that it stands out from the other products that I have in my makeup case and it'll be easy for me to find it. So I am just going to take this on my BH Cosmetics powder brush that I use for setting my face all the time and we are just going to dig into this and just kind of see how mattifying it is. Um, I know in my first video I did mention that I have oily skin and it is really oily. I have to set my face with the powder. I can't just leave. I mean, I'm pretty sure I already look oily and I just put on my foundation. So I do have to set it with something. So we have it on the brush. And I'm just going to put this all over my face. And I can already tell it does kind of have a little bit of a white sheen. But I don't think it's that bad. It's kind of similar to my airspun powder. But it does look like it's really mattifying my face. I don't know if you guys can already tell from like my forehead to like this side of my face. It definitely looks less oily for sure. I'm just kind of put that all over my face because they didn't have a powder foundation either. Um, so this is all I'm going to put on my face before I start bronzing, blushing, highlighting, all that good stuff. So this is going to be the only thing on top of my foundation. And if you guys are interested in this eye look, um, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, and I did use my favorite Sugar Pill eyeshadows. This is Flame Point, Butter Cupcake, and Love Plus. Um, it's kind of like a red, I don't know, I was going for like a primary color kind of like flame look, um, because I am going to change my outfit and do like a red outfit look today. Um, so I just wanted to do like dramatic eyes and then the rest of my face kind of subdued. Um, so if you guys would be interested in seeing something like this, I can totally film it. Um, I've been doing this look a lot recently just to like play with my colorful sugar pill shadows, which are really good and pretty underrated, I think. So I would be happy to do a tutorial with those. Alright, so I think I have this 
all over my face. And I do like it. I mean, it definitely did the job. And I believe this was about like $4. I will link um, all of these products down in the description box and their prices as well right beside them. Because um, all of these products are like really cheap. So if they're good, um, they're definitely worth checking out. I mean, Essence is a brand that has been around for a while. And I know they're a really popular brand in Europe, but I feel like in the US people don't really use them. So I do like that. That um, kind of, it kind of smells like my airspun powder too. Like it has that like old kind of vintage makeup, very like baby powder smelling smell to it. So I don't know. I like it. It did its job and we'll just see how it wears throughout the day. So next I am going to go in with this bronzer. It is in the shade 01 Natural and it is the one for lighter skin on their website. They did have two bronzers. I got the lighter one just because I do tend to like using like a light kind of warm nude bronzer and then just going in with my Kat Von D contour shade for a strong contour. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to put um, the Kat Von D powder on top of it just so we can see what this really looks like on its own and I'm not really feeling a strong contour today. So as you can see, this isn't the same clear packaging, which I just think is adorable and this bronzer is huge. Um, so if anything, it's good value. I believe this was around like $4 as well. Um, and it says matte bronzing powder for a naturally sun-kissed tan perfect for lighter skin types. So let's dig into this. And I am just going to take this on an angled BH Cosmetic brush. This is the one I use for contouring all the time. So it's really cute, honestly. Like I can already tell I'm going to like this color. I hope that it wears well um, just because I really do like the shade. And like how cute is it? The little imprint pressed into this. I think it's adorable. So I am going to take a decent amount on this brush and start contouring and this way we can also see how this sets on top of the mattifying powder okay I really like that you can definitely, it's definitely darker than I thought it was going to be, which is good because I can use it on its own. I mean, this is the one for lighter skin, so I thought it was going to be like quite pale, like barely showing up, just giving you like a little bit of a natural glow, but you could definitely use this a little to contour, which is good because that's what I'm going to do today. So, and it seems pretty buildable too, like I'm really digging into this right now to just give me a strong contour. So I actually quite like that and I think it's going to be even better on top of like a powder foundation and setting powder everything like that. I think it's going to be even better. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. And it really is a nice color. At least for my skin tone, I really, really like it. Um, if anyone with like a lighter or deeper skin tone says use this bronzer in like either this shade or their darker shade, let me know how you like it. Um, because I do kind of have a kind of light olive complexion. I'm kind of like right on the brink of light and medium. So I feel like a lot of bronzers work for me. I mean, as long as they're not too orangey, I feel like that's not really a problem for me. Um, so I'd love to see this on someone a little lighter since this is darker than I thought it was going to be. And we're just going to go under my jawline. I don't know if this is too warm for under the jawline, but we're going to do it anyway. Just since we are testing this out. And then I will put a little bit on my forehead. I generally don't do this, but... The whole point of this video is to show this product, so you're just going to go in with it. I 
All right, I am pleasantly surprised. What do you guys think? I don't know. For a kind of drugstore, like really cheap bronzer, I'm really surprised because I'm generally like not happy with drugstore bronzers. I don't know. I do like my more natural um, Rimmel London one. Um, that one's pretty good. But other than that, I feel like they look really muddy on me and they kind of like break up on the skin. This one... I mean, I don't think it's the best bronzer in the world, but I'm definitely going to be using it in the future. I think it's really good, especially, I think it's going to be really good, especially layered um, under this product. So, which is my routine, so. Next up, I did pick up two blushes, and I am going to be swatching these, um, just so you guys can see, and for me, just to see which one I want to wear on my face. This one is the Essence Mosaic Blush, and this is in the shade 20. All you need is pink. It has soft powder blush composed of three shades for a radiant and fresh finish. And this one right here is the Essence Satin Touch Blush. Again, I heard Kathleen Lights talking about this on her channel, and I definitely thought I needed it. Also, this is more akin to the kind of color that I would go for. I am a kind of like peach slash nude um, blush kind of girl. Um, I do like pink blushes sometimes when I like really want it to show, but given the opportunity, I would always go for the peach blush. And this is in the shade 10 Satin Coral, and it says, Satin Soft Blush for a Fresh Looking Complexion All Day Long. Now I am first going to layer my foundation on my arm and then put a little bit of this Jordana Pressed Face Foundation just because that is how I would wear it on my face. And I think it's kind of unfair to swatch something on your bare arm because that's, I mean, that's not how it would show up on my face. Um, so I am going to lay that down on my arm first. So you guys, I did totally forget to put on my concealer. I guess I got a little too excited about all of the powders, but this is the Pure Nude Concealer and I am having to start over. So I'm going to take that part out, but I'm, I am going to put my powder and my bronzer back on. This is in the shade 20 Pure Sand. Um, and I definitely thought this was going to be a liquid concealer when I bought it online, but I do like the texture once putting it on my face, so I am just going to blend that out really quickly, and then we will get back to swatching the blushes. Alright, I don't really like this at all. I mean, it's kind of like breaking apart on my skin. I don't know if this is because I already put my powder on, took it back off, I don't know. But it, I can already tell I don't like it. It's kind of like breaking. I don't know, can you guys see that? I just, I don't like it. Okay, I will probably only use this to like prime my eyelids in the future. Um, I don't know. I don't really like how it looks. I might give it another chance, but I just feel like this is going to break me out. I don't know. Nothing can beat my Maybelline Fit Me and Tarte Rainforest of the Sea concealer combo right now, so I don't know. I'm not really a fan, so I'm just going to reset my face really quickly. Okay, back to blush. I do have my foundation and powder already set on my arm. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is... A little darker than my underarm color so first I'm going to take the mosaic blush and just kind of as you can see it has like three different colors on there um, I think it's gonna be really pretty blended together so I'm just gonna do like a swipe down and up just to get all of those colors together and then just swipe it down my arm Alright, I hope you guys can see that. That is pretty sheer and kind of luminous. It does have a little bit of a gleam to it. Not glitter, but it's definitely not like a matte blush. And it definitely is the color that I expected it to be. It's kind of like a pink, light pink berry color. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. 
And then we are going to go into my Satin Touch Blush. I think this one is going to be my favorite, so it's probably going to be the one that I'm going to use just because I do like matte, and this peach color is really pretty. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go down and up and swipe straight down my arm. Alright, just from that one swipe swatch, swipe swatch, um, you can tell that this satin touch blush is way more pigmented, um, and it has less of, like, a sheen. It's definitely more matte, and it's more pigmented, and it's definitely... We'll see how it lasts throughout the day, but as of right now, I really love it. Um, and just for the sake of this video, I love this by itself, but I just do want to try out one of these highlights as well just kind of layered a tiny tiny bit on my face and I can already tell I'm gonna like this one so I think I'm going to use this like more glittery one um just because it's something that I wouldn't usually go for and just kind of like pop that at the very top of my cheeks over the pure nude highlighter and just kind of see <sighs> whoa that picked up a bunch of powder do you see that I just did like a very light tap um so it's very powdery which could be good so, I'm just gonna... Alright, this is the Instagram highlight I was talking about. This, if you want like a really strong highlight, and it's not too glittery, it's not too bad, but it definitely is more on the silver side, whereas I would probably stick to like a warm champagne color, but it's fine. If you want a really strong highlight for cheap, Pure Nude and this Luminizer face palette. I am pleasantly surprised. I actually do really like how it looks. So I am going to take that, just like a dot on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. And that's a really, 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 really strong highlight without looking like too much. I do really like that. I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm definitely going to try out these two other ones probably within the next couple days and just kind of see how they are. They're definitely the more subtle out of all the highlight options, um, but sometimes I'm just in the mood for that. so that'll be good. So I also got these Essence All About Matte Oil Control Papers. I'm not going to test them out, but I thought I would just include them just so you guys can see. It does bring 50, and I definitely need these, especially when I'm at work and I'm sitting there for 11 hours. I need to be blotting my face, and I didn't have any, so hopefully these are good. I will get back to you guys on that. So lastly, I picked up two lip pencils just because honestly I don't have any lip pencils. I think I have like two old ColourPop ones that I never use because most of the time I use either liquid lipsticks or even regular lipsticks. I don't feel like I really need a lip liner. Most of the regular cream lipsticks that I have are MAC and those are fine without a lip liner um, or like a lip gloss, but I have been wanting to do like a nude lip with gloss, so I think that's what I'm going to go for. I picked up these two colors. This is in the shade, does it have a color name? Okay, 14 Femme Fatale, and that is like a hot red. They did have deeper reds, but I do like a bright red, especially for summer. And this is in the shade 11 in the nude, and I think this is the one I'm going to go for. Just since I do have a red eye and I was planning a red outfit, I don't want a red lip. That's too much. So... This isn't retractable or anything, it is the pencil kind and I'm kind of disappointed. I probably like saw that it was the pencil kind on the website and still bought it, but I hate sharpening pencils. I would go for like the, the retractable kind over this, but I'm pretty sure these were like $1.99, so I just picked up two just to try them out. So I'm just going to line my lips, probably fill in my lips too, and then maybe add a gloss on top. We'll see how it looks. Alright, and already these are really creamy. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be this creamy. This pencil, another thing with pencil liners, I just feel like they drag a lot. Like, I don't think that they're that pigmented. So, this seems to be doing the job. 